everyone. I wanted to share a little bit about my process of songwriting uh, for this collaborative project with Peter with you all. So in this video, I want to focus on melody writing, um, in particular for a track which I call Saudade. Um, this was the first track that Peter sent me, and it was a beautifully formed instrumental track with um, a wonderful arc and uh, movement in a storyline that needed, um, just needed the story told. And so I sat down with the song and I let it wash over me to see what emotions it brought up in me. And what came up for me was a very strong feeling of nostalgia. Um, this, the sad part of nostalgia, but also the beautiful happiness of nostalgia. Um, the longing, but the um, wonderful memories and the, the, um, the beauty that then we end up longing for. Um, and so that, that was the very strong emotion that it brought up for me. And it was bringing that up for me because it was something that I was feeling um, personally, having just um, moved from England um, where I lived, which was my home for eight years. And um, so, and for me, England was a, a beautiful place. It was my home. I loved living there. Um, it had all of its quirks and, um, but like any breakup, um, there were also problems. And so looking back at my time there, I missed it, but it was also complicated and problematic. So, how do I write a song about complicated and mixed up emotions? Um, so the first thing I do is I'll do some journal writing and I'll do some free association with the theme and my feelings. Um, just allowing my unconscious to move um, the content out onto the paper. Um, I'll also look online and Google terms and words, and that's how I found the word saudade. Um, it's a Portuguese word for this feeling that I was I was that was coming up for me, and it's um, this deep emotional state of nostalgia or profound melancholic longing for an absent something or. Um, someone while also having positive feelings. So it was just an absolutely perfect um, term for what I was feeling. Um, so as I was searching uh, online more about this word saudade, this painting came up and um, she was beautiful and she was speaking to me um, in a deep way. And so I just, I brought her up on my computer screen and I allowed the image to speak to my emotions um, while playing around with um, singing to this track. So with these loose threads, I have somewhere to start with the melody idea. Now, melody writing um, is usually the most emotional part of songwriting for me. Um, when I, when I write my melody, I allow my emotions to flow through my voice, um, and just to try to communicate through sound what I'm feeling. Um, and in order to work on the melody without the lyrics, I'll sing nonsense words or I'll sing phrases, which I don't quite understand. So they're, they're definitely coming up out of my unconscious. And I'll also sing syllables or la la la's or oh oh oh's um, simply to carry the melody which has the emotion for me connected into it. So then I remember this one phrase came up um, while I was free associating and, and singing along to Peter's track. And I didn't know at the time what it meant or how it was gonna fit in and, and it went something like this. Can I miss a part of me?
And so um, I'll, I'll just sit there at my computer and I'll have logic open and I'll have this picture, this painting, this El Jaje painting looking back at me. Maybe I'll have my notes open and I'll just sing into the mic um, and record whatever comes out. And sometimes I'll get phrases that come out that are connected to the melody that are um, moving through this emotional um, this emotional content that I have coming up. Um, then I will go back to my journaling and continue free associating with any of these lyrical pieces that have come up or any of these melody lines that have come up. And I'll start to craft the ideas um, into lyrics with the melodies. So then the lyrics and the melodies become intimately connected to where they become kind of inseparable for me due to the fact that the syllables of the words will then fit into the melody for me. And so I will sometimes work out the melody with nonsense syllables um, to fit it in the song. And then sometimes I will fit lyrics then into the melody. So if people ask melody or lyrics first, I guess generally the melody would come first. Um, however, the two become intimately connected because like I said, I'll allow phrases and words to come up out of my unconscious, which I don't quite know um, how they'll fit in with the rest of the song. And sometimes I'll craft the song around um, these stream of consciousness phrases uh, because they work and they and they carry the song. So the instrumental track he sent me uh, was almost kind of complete to me um, with rhythm and full instrumentation and so for some of the sections I had to really step outside of my usual songwriting techniques in order to write something that worked for what he sent me. And it was also um, a challenge that I was, uh, I was up for because um, I wanted to step out of my normal way of writing melodies. Um, and so uh, there was a section in the track that has this kind of rhythmic suspension. And so I needed to do something that was kind of um, suspended in air, but still has this movement that this track, um, for me, this track has this forward movement, it's constantly going forward. That's like the positive sense of nostalgia. We're moving, we're going through this, but then melodically there's this like tragedy in it. So where the song has this breath or a pause, I wanted to capture that suspension while still having that movement. And so um, then I wrote something like this. We will run to go to somewhere to beauty. that um, uh, I wanted to have that beautiful melancholic melody, but also um, have that rhythmic um, element in there of this, we're kind of suspended. So when you're, you know, in this moment in time and you're looking backwards, that's that's kind of suspension. It's It's kind of looking it's it's holding you back from your present state of moving forward. However, his song has this rolling movement to it. So then after I um, record some pieces into Logic, then I've got more raw material to play with. 
And then I'll go into the more intellectual part of lyric writing where I'll sit down with all of my journals and free writes. Um, I'll do more research. I'll do more searching um, on associations with words or I'll pick out a word that just pops out at me that something that sounds interesting. It's got some meat to it. It's something that resonates with me. And um, I'll also you know, do boring things like pull out the thesaurus or pull out the dictionary or pull out the rhyming dictionary so that I can fit these words or I can create lyrics that will fit into the melody because like I said, the melody for me carries the emotion. And um, so, I mean, I still have all of my lyrics and, and um, uh, all of my notes from this and so I'll have sheets like this where you know I've just googled terms and definitions and then I'll just highlight stuff that pops out at me that sounds like there may be something I can dig into a little bit more and flesh out the lyrics that way. So that's a little part of um, my process on melody writing. Um, Thanks for going along on this journey with me. And um, I'm gonna talk, uh, I wanna do uh, a video on a different part of songwriting for me with each of these tracks. 